What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ. Now since the stream yesterday I have had countless questions regarding year 2 exotic weapons which hopefully in this video I can clear up for you guys while speculating and talk about other things to do with year 2 exotic weapons. So basically your year 1 exotics are what you currently own. When the Taken King comes out all your current exotics will be available for you in the exotic blueprints vault. Once obtained they will always be here for you to collect at any time so if you accidentally dismantle a weapon you can head back to the vanguard room in the tower and grab that very exotic weapon you dismantled. Although it will cost you one exotic shard and 2500 glimmer and I do believe you will have to re-level that weapon. Now year 2 exotic weapons will be new exotic weapons as well as some, not all, but some a certain select few updated year 1 exotics. Now these updated year 1 exotics will obviously have the upgraded attack but they will also be upgraded with a new look as well as a certain few perks added. As you can see by the Suos regime that was shown on stream yesterday but before taking a closer look at this new Suos regime to obtain this new black and red updated Suos regime all you need is your year 1 Suos and 150 legendary marks that is absolutely it. And I believe it will be the exact same for you to acquire other year 2 exotic weapon updates. Now let's take a look at this year 2 Suos regime. Now besides this looking absolutely sexy as hell, what else do you get when you upgrade old year 1 exotics besides appearance? The new updated Suos regime, besides an attack upgrade, will also have the removal of the high caliber rounds perk, but the added addition of a new perk called spinning up. The longer this weapon is fired, the faster it fires. A lot like the lightning rounds perk we see on the Thunderlord, but without the accuracy side of it. This new spinning up mod though can be switched up with the normal Suos Regime mod we normally see here, the focused fire mod. So like all Suros Foundry weapons, we will be getting more options to customize the Suos Regime. So besides the Suos Regime upgrade, do we know anything about any of the other exotic year one weapon updates nothing at the moment is factual but i do believe as you can see here this is the year two version of the thunderlord i believe we may have already seen this upgrade in action from the game informer article which showed a weapon absolutely identical to the thunderlord but it was solar i believe this weapon will indeed be the updated thunderlord and maybe it has the ability to switch up its burn type from arc to solar and back to arc whenever needs be. But as far as I know that is all we have seen footage wise of year 1 exotic upgrades. Bungie did state that not all year 1 exotic weapons will get the upgrade. But there are ones we know for sure will be getting this update. And they are the Suos Regime, the last word which you can see here. I can only imagine what the upgraded version of this weapon will look like and have to offer. We can also see a fan favourite in the Red Death. Man oh fucking man I am pumped to see what the upgraded Red Death looks like I really am. You can also see the Infective right here in that year 2 special slot. I managed to screenshot. The split second Deej hovers over the infective but didn't notice any difference besides the icon model. We can see the Thunderlord will be getting an upgrade and I believe that to be the truth rocket launcher which could be very interesting indeed. From the year 2 trailer we saw a couple days back we also saw a couple of other updates to year 1 exotic weapons. We see the Hawk Moon, we see the Bad Juju and we see their Monte Carlo, their prime moves we saw. In specials we saw the 4th horseman. Now what that fusion rifle is in that slot 1 I have no idea. It could be an upgraded plan C or pocket infinity or it could just be a new exotic weapon exclusive to the Taken King. The weapon next to it though I believe is the sleeper simulant. Although already confirmed to be a heavy, why it's in the special slot is probably because fusions are normally specials but who knows. But that is it guys that is what we know will be updated from year 1 to year 2 exotics. I am absolutely super pumped to find out more information about this. One thing I don't get though is they basically stated not all weapons will get an update, meaning they have the option to upgrade or not upgrade the Galahorn. If they don't upgrade the Galahorn, its attack will be lower and under par with every other heavy that comes with the Taken King. So why nerf it in the first place? Maybe, just maybe we may see a Galahorn update in the near future, but who knows? 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me your thoughts down below in that comment section. Thanks for stopping by as always. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Stay